Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got a beer from Asvex Brewing Company, and they're out of Liverpool, up in the northwest of England, and it's a can of their cookie cutter. Um, cookie cutter approach. It's a cookies and cream milk stout coming in at 5.4% ABV. Um, it sounds absolutely fantastic if you ask me. Um, so I purchased this on a Trembling Madness website just last week. Um, so this contains barley, oats, wheat and lactose as it's a milk stout. You kind of expect the lactose, which is all good there. So this was canned on the 6th of October of 2022. Best before it's now the 5th of November. Um, best before the 6th of October of 2023. Um, so yeah, let's crack into this and see what we've got. There's no commercial description apart from what it says on the can on untap. So this is at room temperature, slightly kind of a chill, chill back room if you're interested in that kind of thing. I know some people like to have their stouts, milk stouts, etc. in the fridge and let them warm up, etc. I'm, on the other hand, I prefer room temperature. So anyway, let's give us a pour, see what's going on with this. There you go, get it in the camera would help. Go straight down the middle, try and generate a little bit of a head. It's not really kind of going crazy with the head there. 5.4, yeah, it's going to go out really quickly. Half finger ahead at the top of the, at the top. Um, and that's it, it's going down. Looks thin, I must admit, it, on the pour it looked quite thin. But anyway, into the light, it's jet black. So there's no kind of rubiness coming through. The top of the beer or at the bottom of the beer in the thinner part of the glass so look jet black uh, maybe not you know just off jet black if you like but yeah there, there's the there's the kind of head you can see there that it's generated stick around a little bit more than i was expecting but let's get a nose on this one then oh my word wow 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 so it's sweet for sure You, 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 you're just getting that cookies and cream big time. It's like a milky chocolate. A doughy kind of. It's got that kind of doughy aspect you can get from like Hagen Dazs ice cream almost. Cookies and cream Hagen Dazs in a glass. Sweet chocolate. That 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 kind of almost sweetness you can picture it in your mind when once you've had these kind of flavours before, you know, away from beer, it smells like it straight off. Really interesting. See what it tastes like in comparison. Cheers. Wow, silky mouthfeel. A lingering sweetness. Not didn't hit me straight off the bat. Mm. Very smooth. That cookie dough flavours there with the sweetness from the lacto. Lactose. Lacto. Which one? Wow, it's clean as a whistle. It lingers on the palate. It's not overpowering. It's not crazy sweet. There's a residual, uh, residual sweetness that hangs around on the palate, which is quite nice. And you get that kind of almost like that. That definitely. That creaminess, like almost like a, like you say, a cookies and cream ice cream. It's, it's that kind of thing. This would be better, probably colder. I think this was in the fridge, yeah. But the flavours are there. It's everything you would kind of expect for the, for, you know, for the beer that it is. 
um, milk stout. It's, it's very light in body, as you kind of would expect. There's a hint of 5.4%. It's one of them intriguing sounding beers that I just went up, went ahead and, and, and bought. Because it just, it's out of the box really. Um, and it really does work. It's really nice. I mean, if you're like, if you're greedy, you'd be like, oh, the body's really thin. It's a milk stout. Um... I'd like to try like an imperial, like an imperial version cookie cutter in, approach imperial stout. That could be quite interesting because um, they do. They've they've only done like I think it's three imperial stouts at this moment in time. Like, I might be wrong, of course. Generally, am. Um, this would be a very interesting one if they done an imperial stout version. Just putting it out there. The body, bring the body up. Um, don't do imperial milk stout do an imperial stout cookies and cream that that could be quite interesting but yeah anyway as for this beer um really really nice really nice nice and light um so these guys are out of uh gibraltar row liverpool um asvexbrewing.com is a website as i say i purchased this is a, a house of trembling madness that i've I've had a couple of purchases from them the last sort of month, and um, yeah, this this come just the other day actually, so um, Thursday, so <clears throat> pardon me. Um, another absolutely fantastic beer, a nice to try a, a dark beer from these guys. <sighs> a bit carbonated, but but yeah, lovely beer. Give it a try. Excuse me, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think if you get to try this one. Um, um, a brewery that um, I'm sure you'll be seeing much more of, certainly here and and out there as well. Really damn good. So there we go. It's a cookies and cookie cutter approach. Cookies and cream milk stout from Asvex Brewing Company out of Liverpool. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Then you'll take care. See you on the next one. Cheers. Can't turn it off.